two in the chest all day long. Surprise. Oh, okay. Yeah. I put two in his chest. This batch uh, came over cussing at me. I got him in cuss. He's a, he's detained right now. I'm in the car. I see a car pull up. I'm like, why would somebody come in here? I'm the only one over here. Ain't nothing open. Nothing open. He just pulls up, comes up. I'm like, so I grab him. I'm like, okay, this guy, what are you about to do? And he pulls up, he's pull his mask down. I thought he was about to rob me or something. I didn't know what was going on. I'm like, okay. He got oh, look. Got a then he had his camera. Then I noticed he had a camera on me. I didn't know what that was. I thought he might have been uh, a gun or something. I didn't know. He's one of like I said, I would have took that as a gun. Like I said, that's two in the chest all day long. All day long. And I've been doing this a long time. Whatever. I'm like, oh, okay. So he's screaming. I mean, he's like cursing at me. And so I'm like, okay, disorderly conduct. You know, you ain't caught. Yeah. You can't, be a, you can't be a victim of disorderly, remember that. Why? I know. We gotta have, you gotta, you gotta have. You can't be a victim no, no, no. Of I wasn't thinking. Approximately eight months ago, Mr. Diddy saw a deputy in a parking lot with a flat tire and approached him with his camera. That video link is in the description below. You'll see from that video, Mr. Diddy calls this police officer a weenie. At that point, the police officer immediately becomes unhinged and places him under arrest. You'll notice that the first minute of this body camera footage is muted and they did not release the full unedited version to Mr. Diddy. Let's take a second to recognize this brave police officer. He has a gun, a tack vest, and a taser, but you'll see in this body cam footage that he tells the other deputies that he saw a man approach him with a camera and immediately thought that he was going to get robbed. That's right, folks, the police officer thought he was gonna get robbed. What's even more terrifying is the fact that two other deputies, as you can see in this footage, told him that if he was there, he would have and should have put two in his chest for filming. You want to call me a fucking idiot, huh? You are a fucking idiot. Okay, good. Say it again. Dude, you, I love how you just come out idiot. here. Okay, yeah. that's good to know. Hey, bitch. Washington oh. 1 dispatch guy came over cussing at me. I got him in cussing. He's, he's detained right now. I got, I think somebody else in another vehicle. I'm not sure. I got one. Get out of my pocket. Okay. okay, okay. Get out of my pocket. You got weapons on you too? What else you got? I want more. I want more. Man, this is a Fourth Amendment okay. violation. I'll say that's fantastic. You're violating my That's rights. absolutely fantastic. You're going to lose your qualified Okay. Immunity. You're going to lose yours too. Yeah, we'll see. We'll, we will see. Love you. you don't want to listen to scanners and come mess with the police, huh? That's what you want to do? That's what you want to do? Huh? I could push them, That's what man. you want to do? Nobody's pushing you. Huh? I'm not sure who jumped out of that car. Where'd they go? I'm not sure. If it, was there anybody else in there or not? There was some... You looking for a place warm to stay flat, tonight? Man. What's that? You got a flat. What do you think the tow truck's here? You got one too? Yeah. Go ahead, step in. Watching for a read or read all set there. Hey, we're secure with one. Okay, we're gonna slow it down. We'll definitely need a boss for him. Yeah, we're secure. He's in the bag. Yeah, yeah, with the mods with. Yeah, it's Nick. I'm. Should have left his clown mask on. Come on, step up. I thought he's about to rob me. Y'all got body cameras rolling. Do you? You don't see him. You know how it works. Okay. Tuck in. Is that his car? Uh, he can be pulled up. He can pull up in the car. You can take care of it now. No, that's your car. Yeah. Okay. 
I'm in the car. I see a car pull up. I'm like, why would somebody come in here? I'm the only one over here. Ain't nothing open. Nothing open. He just pulls up, comes up. I'm like, so I grab him. I'm like, okay, this guy, what are you about to do? And he pulls up, he's pulling his mask down. I thought he was about to rob me or something. I didn't know what was going on. I'm like, okay. He's got, oh, he's little, got a camera. Then he had his camera. And then I noticed he had a camera on me. I didn't know what that was. I thought he might have been uh, a gun or something. I didn't know. He's one of the, uh, what's the call guys? I told him to stop, I'm like, step away from the car. But, anyway. No, I'm going to run right now, see if he got any. Oh, I was going to sell a tool bag. What? Hey. Who's that? John. It's oh. Dupuy. Oh, Dupuy. You guys deal with this guy? Dude, all the time. How do you know I was here? Because he, right, he, he works, he lives right up the road, but he works at Jet's Pizza. Good to know. He, he, just, he just made a video of us yesterday. What was he doing to you? He, he, come, he comes in with a mask on. Yeah. I thought he had, I didn't know if he had a gun on him or not. Sure. I thought he was about to rob me. With that, with that camera thing? Yeah, this, this right here, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And so I'm like sitting in the car. I'm like, oh, shit. Doc, that's why I called you guys before he even, I saw him coming up to the car. I stayed in the car, but, and then once he got up to the car, I'm like, step away from the vehicle, step away from the vehicle. Oh, I'm within my rights. I'm in public. So I was like, hey, just step away from the car. And then he gets up and he stays there the entire time. So I stayed in the car. I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> then he walks back around in the front of the car and he gets in the front. When he got to here, gets here. And then when I got up, he started calling me a fucking asshole, dumb piece of shit or whatever. I'm like, oh, okay. So he's screaming. I mean, he's like cursing at me. And so I'm like, okay, disorderly conduct. You know, you ain't public, cussing, whatever. No, was around, but he was around. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I detained him, yeah, cuffed you got him up. Wendy's and shit. You got yeah. McDonald's, yeah. Yeah. So that cost him up for disorderly conduct. That's at, the, at this point, I'm detaining him for that. Um, are you going to? Uh... I'm not sure. I'm gonna see what the boss says when the boss get here. They can I'm... Okay. I'm see four and five. Yeah, they have. Yeah. It's Petrowski and Wiley. Yeah. Hey, Wiley. Yeah. I got stuck in the yeah, right. Oh my god, let me run him and see if he does he, he usually have any warrants or anything? No, no, he's got he's usually clean. Does he? Got tattoos all over, it's all good. We do we do quite a bit. Oh my gosh. You can't be doing that kind of stuff. I'm out here by myself. Uh uh. Dude, you gotta look him up on YouTube. That's him? Yeah. He's like me. like Sauger's son. He goes down there and does these um what are they called? Uh, audits or some oh, shit? Oh, God, yeah. They do Never. offensive First Amendments. I watched yeah. one the other day. I'm like... Yeah, I, he, I, just, he just video recorded me yesterday. Would you... Would that have happened with that? Were you on a call? On YouTube, yeah. <laughs> we were on a call, and he's like... He's like... He's like... He's just a problem. But if he's swearing... I mean, right. He, he does like Shelby. He goes down to Shelby Township. He's been down and he's recorded uh, down at uh, Utica. But. No, you're good. I mean, it's probably a far-fetched. I mean, but still cussing at me like that. But you got that's what they call. Go tell us real quick. Tell us a different. Huh? Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. You can't be a you can't be 
a victim of disorderly. Remember that. I know. We gotta have you to get you gotta have. He can't be a victim. No, no, no. Of I wasn't thinking. Okay, saying I'm not. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they're just too far, dude. Okay. It's not reasonable. I, I, this will be a it'll be a stretch for that. This guy here, he was here. Who was? Ballers. Oh, well, we'll, Ballers. Wait, we'll wait for a boss and then. Uh, right. Yeah, what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's not him. We have stuff around with the one of the Ballers guy. Okay. Oh, because the Ballers guy was here too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm like, I can't remember how far we was. Yeah. Did you, did you hear him cussing out? Yeah. You heard him cussing out? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Oh, you did? You get here? Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I got out of the truck, and that's when you told me to get back in there. What did he say? What was did he you on? hear what he say? Fuck you, and there's, uh, I hate you, I think I said. Yeah, can, I can't quite remember what he... I heard him laughing and said, fuck you, and there's, uh, I hate you, I think I said. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you heard him say, fuck you. Yeah. We'll, wait, uh, we'll wait till we get a... Uh, Boss up here. Who's coming? Is it the Wiley? Patrick Kosky and Wiley. Wiley. Okay. They're coming a ways. It'll be a minute. Yeah. Cool. I left my hat. I'm going to sit the car Me too. <laughs> I can't believe this guy. Uh, how would you guys have known he was going to find us? You said oh. Jets? Which Jets pizza is it? Right up the street? 30. Yeah, I heard you over the radio. I heard you over the radio. Well, yeah, I think you're good, dude. Yeah. Especially if you don't know, you know. I had no idea. You have no idea if you don't deal with them, and then, but he, he's, you know. He did it. Yeah. The four five should be by the least in office. You guys are silver. Two in the chest all day long. Surprise. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'd put two in his chest. We can't search it, but... Nope, it's off. I turned it off. Okay. We can have a conversation with him, like, listen, man, like, this is gonna get you killed. But if you, and that's, I'm him, like, dude, you come up on me and I'm a ski mask and that in your hand, I'm putting... Think about your family and yourself. Do you think that cop was in the right? Absolutely. Like I said, I would have took that as a gun. Like I said, that's two in the chest all day long. All day long. And I've been doing this a long time. A long time. What's going on guys? Check out Mr. Diddy and his video. The links are both in the description. And I'm not here to argue that police don't have a hard job, okay? I'm sure some police officers have a hard job. The fact that we're dealing with here is that we have a police officer that's armed not just with qualified immunity, but with a gun, a taser, mace, and the AR that's sitting in his car. The problem is that a person that is that heavily armed is so scared that he sees a person walk up to him with a camera and the police officer is the one that thinks he's going to get robbed. Let's set aside the fact that the police officer arrested and detained a man for exhibiting his First Amendment right, then violated his Fourth Amendment right because he was exhibiting his First Amendment right, all because this man called the officer a weenie. Scary, scary little man with a brave, brave police officer. Holy smokes, a camera means a cop just might get robbed. I think not. The other thing that's really, really terrifying about this video is that there's two other Macomb County Sheriff's deputies that come into the picture. Now, one deputy does the right thing, shouldn't have to explain, but does explain to this tyrant, scared pig that you can't be the victim of disorderly conduct. 
How is it that it takes one police officer to explain to another police officer that a police officer cannot be a victim of disorderly conduct? So let's understand that the supervisor corrects the situation and says, yeah, no matter what he said to you, you as a deputy can't be a victim of disorderly conduct. That means he's sitting in a police cruiser, handcuffed, with his rights violated and his property seized for something that even other police officers say is a complete and total lawfully protected activity. So one supervisor's on the scene that seems to have some idea of what he's talking about, but the other deputy that comes on the scene not only doesn't correct the bad behavior of the previous officer, he tells the arresting officer that arrested someone for disorderly conduct, whom the supervisor corrected he could not be a victim of, goes up to that same officer, reaffirms and supports that behavior by saying, I would have put two in his chest. That's two in his chest all day long. You want to come up and film police? That is two. Count it, not one, but two in your chest, sir. I bid you good day. What is going on in the Macomb County Sheriff's Department? Not for nothing, uh, he's been in court for nine months now with still no charge attached to this case. This is the problem with police, right? You only have six months of training. Literally, my barber has went through more training than these police officers. But the problem is, if you are so petrified with all of this lethal equipment, why are you putting on a badge in the first place? If simply a citizen walks up to you, pulls out a camera, and then all of a sudden, that guy might be robbing you. What I also find is interesting, if you watch this video, the officer very clearly states, because he's a moron, Mr. Diddy says, you're going to lose your qualified immunity. And then the cop says, well, yeah, you're going to lose yours too. The cop is so dumb, he doesn't even know what qualified immunity is to know that the citizen doesn't have it, and he does. But this smart-as-a-whip douche-nozzle pancake uh, actually tells Mr. Diddy and the other police officers, he goes, he comes up to me, he has a mask. He pulls up his mask. I thought he was going to rob me. Wow! What police work are we talking and reciting here? When's the last robber you've encountered that was like, all right, I've got total anonymity right now. I'm a criminal. Here's a police officer. Can you see my face? You see my face? Awesome, sweet, yeah. No, that's not how that works. If he was robbing you, why would he pull up his mask? What this is, is a total expose on some of the dumbest cops in America. So please, make sure you go by to Mr. Diddy. Tell him AFA sent you. I didn't put up the whole video. I want you to see the rest there. This guy's absolutely awesome. And I'm sure a lot of other people will be posting this video as well. Make sure you hit the like button. Set the notification bell always. Also, if you want to support AFA, you can go to the About section. And uh, you can either... Help us out on paypal.me forward slash accountability for all or on cash app dollar sign AFAYT. A link is there for our merchandise. We have a lot of great stuff. Also, check out our backup channel, the AFA crew. And remember, you have certain rights. And don't forget, this is a dangerous job. I mean, I guess devil's advocate, Mr. Diddy is lucky he got the cop that knew nothing about the law versus the cop that would have put two in his chest because Mr. Diddy was obeying the law? Does that make sense? There's, there's no one there. I'm just talking to myself because maybe someone can make sense of this. Go subscribe to Mr. Diddy. Enjoy the video. And that's the reason I stopped you today. We'll catch you on the next one.